What's up guys, Meredith with Extreme Terrain, and today we're checking out the Navos Gen 5 12.1 inch T-style radios, fitting all 2018 and newer JL Wranglers in 2020 and newer JT Gladiators. Now the factory head unit at this point is pretty much dated, and most of the time it's heavily lacking the capability that it could have to make your ride much more comfortable, whether you're in your Jeep just on the weekends or put some time into the driver's seat with an everyday commute. That's where this system comes into play, offering a drastic change for the JT or JL owner who not only wants some extra tech to enjoy their music and media on longer rides but also to modernize the inside of their Jeep thanks to the updated features and refined appearance the system brings to the table. This Navos unit will include a lot of features compared to your factory system, improving your driving experience, and I will walk you through a full demo of those features in just a minute. Now, navigation is one of the big bonuses here with the iGo Next Gen software that will do more than just provide a map, but help you just like your phone did with voiced and visual directions, making it much easier to get places. Now, like most modern systems, this will also basically be a multimedia center to play music and video via USB, and because it's an Android system, you'll have separate access to popular Android apps in the Google Play Store. Now, those options are endless when it comes to entertainment with this system, uh, with all of the apps that you're able to download, like Netflix, Spotify, YouTube, Pandora, Hulu, and more right at your fingertips in the comfort of your own Jeep. Now, one of the best features is Z-Link, which is an app on the unit where you can link your phone to be able to wirelessly use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is really notable considering most units require you to plug in your phone to use those systems, while this one is completely hands-free, making it incredibly user-friendly. Now, with the included mic here, uh, you can also talk on the phone and enjoy all of the other benefits of Bluetooth right through this system, again, being completely hands-free. You can also utilize this as a hotspot, which is something that you don't see too often from a head unit, making it one of the many cool features. This also integrates all of your climate controls being built right into the unit for a super modern feel when you need to use your fans, AC, heat, temps, and much more. Now, the system will also be compatible with your factory backup camera, just with a bigger screen to display it for better visibility, and you can even integrate accessory front and side cameras if you choose to add them to your Jeep. The unit itself will be a lot larger than your factory system, as you can see, with a 12.1 inch HD touchscreen display with incredible graphics. And even though it is huge, it's still going to blend incredibly well with the rest of the dash, thanks to the factory style dash bezel. The system will also have a high quality four by 45 watt amplifier with an included equalizer, and it's gonna have digital signal processing for super clean sound with whatever speaker system that you have inside of your Jeep. Now the software is also a big upgrade utilizing Android's 9.0 Pi operating system that is super responsive to the touch and again provides the refined feel of a premium head unit. Now it also boasts 64 gigabytes of memory, 4 gigabytes of RAM, HDMI outputs, a 5 volt RCA pre-out for your sound system, and 3 USB inputs which just adds to the capabilities of this head unit. This will also include some tactile buttons around the head unit itself and uh, that is going to maintain a lot of those factors function so you don't have to sacrifice anything when upgrading to this system. Now this system will come in at about $2,100 total with the price of the head unit and the required shop install, making it more of a premium system compared to other options available. Now what I will say about this unit is that it really doesn't miss anything from navigation, multimedia, complete wireless capabilities, especially with Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay, the included Wi-Fi, and the fact that it's simply huge while offering a well-built and a good-looking unit at the same time. Now I think if you want to invest in a unit that's not going to have you compromising for any features and you don't want to question it when it comes to install, this is going to be a fantastic pick for you. Again, install here is going to be completely effortless. I'm giving it a zero out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, considering that all you have to do is drive your Jeep to your local shop to have it installed. I do want to mention that this radio may not be compatible with other brands of aftermarket CAN bus devices, uh, such as tuners, start, stop, bypasses, OBD2 devices, speed calibrators, and uh, some other ones. So I would just keep that in mind when you are checking out this system. What I will do though, is show you a full demonstration and walkthrough of how the system works and exactly what you can expect from your brand new Navos Gen 5 radio. 
So once you start up your vehicle, you'll be greeted with a Navo splash screen and then your home screen. This is gonna have shortcuts for navigation, your time and your calendar, as well as your music. And then you can scroll over to the right and you'll have all of your apps displayed here on this main screen or the main second screen. You'll also have the ability to go home and back up at the top left hand corner, the ability to seek and play and pause when it comes to your music and your volume. But you also will have volume dials and media and tuner dials um, on the outer portion of the device. And you'll also have some controls up at the top, including your brightness and your equalizer, as well as other information like temperature and time. Down at the bottom, you'll also have a number of controls that'll open up a number of different screens uh, for capabilities with this device. Your first one is navigation, and this will open up Google Maps. And your second screen will be your radio, which will be pretty familiar. You will have uh, FM and AM, as well as six presets for both, with full controls down at the bottom here. Your next screen will be your music. This is where your Bluetooth device music will come through from your Android or your Apple smartphone. Your next tab is your climate control, and this is where you can access all of your fans, your temperatures, your AC, and your window defrosters. You will be able to select each mode as well as turn it on and use individual climate control for the temperatures on the passenger and driver side. When you're finished, you can turn it off and pull that screen back down. Next option is Bluetooth. This is where you would connect your Android device or your Apple device. Next one is video. This is where you would play all of your multimedia. And then the next option is phone link. This is where you would open up Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So once your phone is connected, you will see either your Android Auto or your Apple CarPlay. As you can see, this is our Android Auto. You'll see your Google Maps up at the top as your main portion of the screen, your weather conditions at the bottom left, and whatever music app that you have at the bottom right. You'll also be able to scroll through your apps here and access shortcuts between your maps, phone, Spotify, or whatever other um, music app that you use and your settings. You'll also be able to utilize Apple CarPlay if you have an iPhone. Um, as you can see, if you are familiar with Apple CarPlay, uh, this is showing up with your maps up at the top. You'll have uh, some apps over on the side and whatever music application on the right-hand side. You also have some shortcuts for these three at the bottom, including your phone. And you'll also be able to click over into your apps at the bottom left-hand portion of the screen. Now that we've gone through all of these bottom tabs, we can scroll to the left and see that there are more available, including Google Chrome. You'll have Cirrus XM as well. There will be a tab for settings where you can adjust everything to your personal preference. The next tab is your app screen. You'll be able to see all of your downloaded apps separate from the home screen here. You'll also have a separate tab for your equalizer that uh, is separate from the top shortcut, your file manager. The next tab is your camera. This will have the option for a side view, front view, and rear view camera. If you have a backup camera on your Jeep, it will be compatible here um, and show on this screen. You can also customize these tabs down at the bottom if you wanna select different apps. And the last screen at the bottom here is your climate control that you can have up all the time. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and the demonstration of the Navos Gen 5 at 12.1 inch T-style radio, fitting all 2018 and newer JL Wranglers and 2020 and newer JT Gladiators. And remember, you can find that right here at extremeterrain.com.